Okay, I got the uh, tap holder all back together here. So it's all reassembled. Got this cut down. Put the flat on it right here for the set screws to hit against. Cut the screws down slightly so they work good. So this just slides right together. Real close fit. Lifetime tightening. So there's our whole assembly now. Holds it in a vertical mill. So we got a compression and an extension for tapping it. These are the quick disconnect uh, tap holders that go into this main holder. They just pop on like that. They're mounted. So they just pop right apart. Just slide this collar right here and it pops right off there. Two different ones sitting here. So, anyway, that's how they work. And your tabs just go inside of the holder here. This is my special spark plug tab I bought. It's imports uh, CNC uh, oh, made over in Germany or someplace. Sweden. Made in Sweden. <coughs> Supposed to be the best thing to buy for spark plug. Cutting threads, we'll see. Anyway, the problem I got is that these drivers here don't quite fit this tap, this oddball size tap. So it fits loose in this holder. And this one here doesn't go in at all. The square that drives it up on the inside doesn't fit on this one either. You have to machine this down a little bit. And then you gotta cut the OD down a little bit to make it fit that one. This one here, it fits up inside the square. This has a bigger square on it. So it fits in that pretty easily. Not too loose. The problem is this collet right here doesn't grab a hold of it. So I'm gonna have to make a sleeve to make this one work. So I think I'll probably wind up doing that. <clears throat> that way we can make it all work. So basically this just goes in there like that. There it goes. And this goes there, and that makes your whole unit. Nice little short piece. That's why I shortened this up as much as I could, because it's pretty damn long time you're done. So hopefully my milling machine is big enough to hold all this crap. Definitely got a lot of stuff here. So, anyway, two days of work. But uh, that part's done. Now all we do is uh, make a little call it to adapt this to that, and we should be able to test it out and see how it works. That's it for now.